wait, <laughs> look at sad, look at sad Barry in his little profile pic there. Look at him. Look at that sad bastard. <laughs> Hey there, this is Cole here with more Hexcrank Live. This is going to be a weird one. So, I finished the original Resident Evil last night. However, uh, that left me with one night... <laughs> Sorry, that sounds god-awful. That left me with uh, a one night to fill. I didn't want to start a big new thing today. So, what I'm going to do and what I'm going to show you is two oddities. Uh, two, two Resident Evil games made for the Game Boy Color, okay? So the first that I'm going to show you and what you see right now is um, it is a uh, prototype of the original Resident Evil that was made for the Game Boy Color and then scrapped because uh, Capcom was not happy with the, uh, the quality. Um, after I show you this, I'm going to show you a Resident Evil Gaiden, which features Barry Burton on a boat. That's right, we got B-Cubed going on. So, let's do this. I believe that the only scenario that is mostly playable in this is Chris. So we're going to do that. They have escaped into the mansion where they thought it was safe. Yet. <laughs> Jill, I don't know what happened. Barry, where's Barry? Well, I'm sorry, but he's probably... No! What is that? I'll go check. Okay, Jill and I will stay in the main hall in case of an emergency. <laughs> hey, you're in... An emergency right now. This is nothing but an emergency. Yes, this is the unreleased one. I've played a, a, a goodly portion of this. Um, I got a repro cart at a retro game convention. So you still have the, uh, you still have the tank controls, as you can see, and you've got the fixed, um, the fixed camera angles. Um, you can see the debug coordinates at the bottom, keeping track of what, um, what positions you're in based on the, uh, based on the old... Sorry, that music is really loud. It's distracting me one moment. Volume mixer. Here we go. Where are you at? Okay. <laughs> no, it's keeping track of where you're at. And it's got all of the... Uh... <laughs> it's got the puzzles and stuff. Like, you can get the wooden emblem and it even no whoops so the controls are a little bit weird because you know the game boy color doesn't have a shoulder button so you ready your weapon with b and you attack with A like that. And to get running, you have to hold down B while you're while you're still moving. Let's go see a zombie. Hey there, dog nozzle. Okay, I don't have a, a gun, so I better run from that guy. It's 
Yeah, I think it's pretty impressive. I mean, you know, I'm playing it on an emulator right now, but just when you pop it into a... <laughs> when you pop it into a Game Boy Advance and you just kind of play it portable, the effect kind of works, you know? Ghost Alla Mode asks, can you guys do a WAF on Ari Gaiden? Maybe an abject suffering? <laughs> Wesker, Jill. You're all alone, Redfield. What happened to Jill and Wesker? Yes, let's take the ink ribbon. Oh yeah, Nick reminds me that I, I so I have no idea if the game holds up, but that uh, James Bond game for the original Game Boy is actually is that was actually kind of okay as as an action RPG. what happens if I ah they took out the animation of the dog of the dog going in yeah I guess that's just a weird little a weird little thing in the marble well so what was neat about that what was neat and weird about that uh James Bond game was like the the reward you got for doing really good was just Game Boy versions of old card games, old card games. You know what I mean? Like you played blackjack and baccarat and stuff. So I forget where Chris gets his gun. Yeah, I hope you like dithering, because this game has dithering out the butt. Yep, yeah, it's actually, I mean, it's, it's kind of impressive, except when you press start instead of select. Let's open up your useless map. Those don't stack? Say it ain't so. Uh. Let's see, how's my health? The attack animation isn't quite there yet. Huh, yeah, I guess it just doesn't, it doesn't stack. Or they didn't work in stacking yet. Hmm. I could swear I could get into that door before. Well, let's go, let's go poke around elsewhere. Hey there, Zack. Let's see what, uh, what happens upstairs. Why don't we? Not, not a lot of precision in the rotation on those tank controls.
Okay, will it will the zombie cross the camera line? Is my question. <laughs> Health bad. Good. Now good health. <laughs> I want to kill that zombie. Okay, let's try and run around it. <laughs> Let's see. So I guess they uh, they just don't there might just be some doors you can't go in cuz they're not finished. Let's see here. Nothing unusual. Hey there, Jala. So I think they do memos in this one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Let's see. And Chris is dead. Let's do a little bit more. Oh yeah, congratulations, Jala, on passing your audition for the new job. Let's go down the other hallway um, and not try <laughs> and not try to fight the zombies with the ineffectual pixel knife. Health bad. Buh? Oh, weird. You don't have to be facing a door to activate it. Yeah, something that this highlights is... Oh, oh, fuck. <laughs> so 
something's something's oh wait there's a zombie I couldn't see yeah okay I'll, I'll try and go left around Okay, next time I die, Jala needs to take a screenshot, so... I will hold it for a minute. Okay, let's push this off. Because I gotta get that blue gem. <laughs> Someone thought this was a good idea. But, like, a, a sweet home Resident Evil on the Game Boy would have been amazing. You know? see why they had to go to go full pre-rendered 3d Ooh, wait you actually get a good a good view of his uh of his rotation angles there look at that nope no yeah and there's nothing for me down there item wise so let's uh let's go downstairs. <laughs> At this point my goal is to probably play this for another 25 minutes at least to see more screens and see other monsters if possible. See they like they even have the zombies where you expect them to be if you've played the uh if you've played the original game. Wow, what is it? What? Oh, no, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. You must be from the Bravo team. Yes, I'm Rebecca, Rebecca Chambers. I'm a newcomer, I just joined the Star's Bravo team last month. Well, I'm really sorry, are you alright? Yes, I'm Chris Redfield from the Alpha Team. You you guys have been in a meeting room before. <laughs> There's something distasteful about how well-defined Rebecca's boobs are at this resolution. It's like they thought we wouldn't believe she was a woman without seeing them to the entire underboob. Ooh, cool, sword key. Why would you boot up the remake when you know that this exists? You're not making any sense, Nick.
<laughs> he has a T on his back and a U for a bud. I still wish I could find Chris's gun. But at least I have the sword key. But that door does not open, so I guess I can't get the shotgun then. Nah, rattlesnakes. Health poor, as distinct from bad. get around you. Yeah, so the zombies do not follow you across camera angles is a good fact to know. Ooh. I'll take the clip, but what I really want is the gun it goes into. It's like when I was a little kid and my grandpa sent me a birthday gift and it was a Game Boy copy of Battletoads, but my I wouldn't get my Game Boy until Christmas and they're a month apart. So all I, all I had was just a Game Boy game that I couldn't play Um, uh-oh. It was just, it was a result of poor, commu poor communication on the part of my uh, parents and grandpa, you know? love to go to the fountain room to get um to get some healing items but I don't trust the game to let me pass that zombie you know yeah that one right there yeah Game Boy Battletoads was fine you just, you know, you build it up in your head when you can't play it. <laughs> Look at this big boy. All oh, right, I guess I can't go back there because he will whip me. He will whip me with his vines. And I'm dead. Okay, I'll leave this up. Let me know when you get the shot you want, Jolla. I'm <laughs> I'm doing a search to see where I can get Chris's gun. <laughs> uh, 
um, it is a starting weapon in Resident Evil Code Veronica. Not what I want. Games. Where are the weapons at? Let's go through these rooms while I look this up. Hmm. Okay. That is that is strange. I I could swear that I saw the gun on the ground um in the main hall. Hey, Roxy. Um, yeah, I definitely need a gun. Hi, Eric. What is that little graphic of a bee that you just put in there? Oh, fuck! I forgot there was a zombie there. And he's down. <laughs> oh. I've got to get back to the main hall. Okay, I can get to the main hall out this way, I believe. Let's get around him while he's turning around. Yeah. Keep in mind that they're doing this with less than 55 colors on the screen at a given time. It's pretty impressive no matter how you cut it, I think. that gem. Cool. Pixel Chris is beefy. Um those coordinates at the bottom, it like it's it's just a de it's debug mode because this is a prototype. Gun, give me the gun. Yeah, there we go. Item included? Hell yeah. weird breaking sequence but I, I'm gonna go and get the uh by breaking sequence I mean doing things not on the order that I usually do them <laughs> oh <laughs> uh let's equip the gun cause that knife is garbage from a butt
But yeah, no, I want to go and use the blue gem. Is there a zombie in here? Yes, of course there is. This kind of makes me wonder what a Game Boy Color version of Mist would look like. How much is in the prototype? Um, a bunch, actually. More than you would think. Yeah, the problem is that Chris's campaign is the only one that's mostly fleshed out. So you're dealing with his you're dealing with his stringent um inventory requirements. So I've got the sword key. <laughs> Had to share all the screens. So I want to see just how wrong I was by thinking that door to the Cerberus hallway was closed. The overhead view sprite reminds you, Dog Nozzle, of um, Hotline Miami. indeed. Can I pick up that herb? I don't want to waste the ammo, otherwise I would try and replicate the shooting the wall. Or shoot, yeah, shooting the camera. Let's see what Chris has to say about the turlet. Nothing unusual. Yeah. Right. Lots of houses have them. I mean, not in this series, but generally. Hey there, Jack CSA. Okay, I don't have the, uh, well, let's see what this trap room looks like anyway. You know what? 
I can just use a, a save state. Shit, I can't because I, my inventory's full. Damn you, Chris, and your shallow, shallow pockets. It's really weird that they just kind of take a knee like that. <laughs> Eric says Jill found the one pair of women's pants that has deep, deep pockets. So, I wonder, I don't think I've ever run out of ammo in this version of the game. where they keep the chemical. Neat. All right, I'm going to go with this for another 20 minutes. I lied before. I want to do an hour of this and an hour of uh, Resident Evil Gaiden. Thank you for subscribing, Jaxie. Six months. So yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm happy to be able to share this with you guys because that was I mean I remember I remember reading about this this game possibly existing right just and it seems weird because you know why first off second off oh yeah that went away I would love to play Resident Evil on portable. And I don't think you could do that until the DS version, Deadly Silence, in 2006, 7? Something like that? <laughs> uh, Jala wants me to stream Legacy of the Wizard. I remember liking that game quite a bit when we played it for, uh, when we played it for WAF. Isn't that game weirdly in some other universe? Like it's in a, like it is a fact Xanadu game of some kind. It's definitely in the Falcom extended universe, is what uh, is what Dog Nozzle says. Um, let's see. No crows, no crows whatsoever. Oh, 
Although I do like that hyper-stylish, as-of-the-90s track lighting. A picture of a lively boy. Where you been hiding this boy? There's a message. Give me the peace of death and I'll give you the joy of life. All right. So let's hit these in order. I have no idea. I've never gone all the way to, uh, as, far, as far as the game goes. I've only gotten... Mm, I, don't even, I don't think I've even fought the yawn. It's just remarkable in that it shouldn't exist, but does. Um, numeric. First, high numeric. Um, second, numeric says they've never heard a good thing about Gaiden. I've never heard a good thing about it either. Although, like everything, I'm positive it has something to recommend it, at the very least. Uh, I think... I think the worst mainline Resident Evil game is 5? In a walk? Oh shit, zero. Yeah, fuck. I always forget about zero. Yep. <laughs> why why do you why do you make me think about zero? Um, I wouldn't say five is worse than this, uh, just because this, you know, I qualified my statement of, about five with like of the mainline uh, Resident Evil games. You know, this is not oh, one of those. There we are. Hey, Steve. Yeah, Gun Survivor. Yeah, I, I, I consider that to be a, a side. So, and I've not played all of the side RE games. So it's hard for me to, it's hard for me to tell you. The, the worst of those that I've played is prob probably Survivor. But even that has some stuff to recommend it, you know? Um, and I played six solo. I, I liked six solo just fine.
Yep, let's do save states and show you the Chris sandwich. Hey there, Darren. Also, hi, Jack. I don't know if I said hi to you before. I want whatever's on that. I guess I can't get it. Can I not leave the... Yeah, it's not letting me go. Well, that's... that's a bummer. Yeah, Operation Raccoon City is interesting because of the alternate universe stuff you can do in it. Like, you can, as your squad of of BCS or whatever, uh, UBCS misfits, you can just straight up gun down every important character in the entire <laughs> Resident Evil universe. <laughs> I didn't want to go through that door. Come on. Okay, I've got 10 minutes left on this game. I want to find a dumb way to die. I guess I just straight up can't get whatever that item is. Oh, well. Um, I know what I want to do. I've got the chemical. Let's, let's go poison that plant. I guess I just straight up can't get that herb. Oh well. So yeah, this is a very interesting curiosity. This is, I mean, it's the furthest I've gotten in the game. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever got, not in the game. You guys saw me beat the game, but it's the furthest that I've gotten in this version, let's say.
Jella says, please complain to me about Zero. Um, it's really, really shoddy. It, um, it's gimmick, you know, is that you're controlling two different people and that you can drop items on the ground. So you're doing, like, little trades in between them and stuff like that. But, uh, it's just not fun. They... It complicates the design of the game in a really dumb and, let's just say, like, straight-up deleterious way. Uh, let's see. It makes it frustrating. It, like, it gets you into these unwinnable situations. Oftentimes. That you just can't get around. It's really tedious to play. Really, really tedious because it is about inventory management in a way that, even though the entire series is about inventory management, um, is bad. It is bad inventory management. Blah. Something has happened. Yeah, Jaxie Raid. Oh man, I didn't even get to see the red. <laughs> oh. You robbed me, video game. Yeah, Jaxie says you can screw yourself harder in Zero than you can in Code Veronica, and that's impressive. Yeah. That's, uh, I'd say that's accurate. <laughs> yeah, guess you can't mix herbs. So that makes the red herb useless. Fun. Yes, Code Veronica's a main entry. I consider the, I mean, this is dumb and arbitrary, but like, yeah, no, like the, the, the main series would be any of the numbered entries, including Zero and Code Veronica. So one through seven, Code Veronica, etc. Okay, this is gonna be the end. This is how the story goes. Wesker gets some shit combat data about Chris intentionally feeding himself to this zombie because he looks hungry. And there we go. There we are. So that is Resident Evil for the Game Boy Color. It ought not be. Why am I? Why am I? Let's go with Barry on a boat. This is a Resident Evil Gaiden. In an effort to put a stop to the global operations of the evil corporate entity, <laughs> Umbrella Pharmaceuticals Incorporated, an underground organization was formed. This organization consists of former STARS members. This music is too loud. This music is too loud in my ears. And ex-Umbrella employees. Somewhere in North America at this underground organization's hideout. Two thirty AM Barry reporting for duty. Chief, good to see you, Barry. I have a mission for you of the utmost urgency. A new type of bioorganic weapon developed at Umbrella Labs has escaped. 
This BOW is believed to be among the passengers of the luxury ocean cruiser, the Starlight. The next bow is an extremely dangerous creature, even in its human form. Leon S. Kennedy of Raccoon City Police Department was tracking the bow, but we have now lost contact with him. His last report was over 24 hours ago. Objective. Locate Leon S. Kennedy and eliminate the BOW. Insertion via helicopter. Location. The Starlight currently cruising in the Atlantic. Extraction via helicopter deployed on receipt of radio transmission. Operative, Barry Burton. Good luck with your mission. HQ, Barry, come, come in, over. Copy. <laughs> Why does Barry look like Krieger? <laughs> I read you over. You are now on the side deck 2F. Make your way uh, west to the lobby to enter the ship. Look for useful items along the way. They may be hidden in boxes or other containers. Your alert icon will show when an item is nearby. You can then pick up this item. Good luck, Barry. Over and out. So. That's my map. This is my inventory. That's how you aim, which is weird. Good. Wait, <laughs> look at sad, look at sad Barry in his little profile pic there. Look at him. Look at that sad bastard. Your current objective will be shown on your PDA. Your PDA will also show all the information you have found. Your PDA can be accessed from your inventory. Your current objective will also be shown on your map and will be highlighted in red. Your map will also show where you currently are highlighted in green. As you complete your objectives, your current status will be saved. You may then continue your mission after a restart. At set times, you may also save your status in slot 1, 2, or 3. You may then continue your mission from slot 1, 2, and 3 when you restart. Yes, RE side games do uh, like to be on boats. Barry, be careful. We have detected hostiles in the lobby. If you need to use your targeting system to attack these hostiles... Once your target is activated, you can aim at these hostiles. The sight will indicate when a hostile is in range. Deactivate the target system once a hostile is in range to start a battle. Once in a battle, fire your weapon when the target is aligned with a hostile to be hit. Remember that your weapons are less effective at greater distances. Caution is recommended, though. Avoid conflict if you can. Be careful in there. Will do. Over and out. I've got Dead Aim. I bought it at a uh, convention recently. I'm going to stream it at some point. <laughs> what in the name of... What has happened to these people? They're not human anymore. So yeah. Um, it's a little bit like a... Uh, like a golf game. <laughs> Barry's a connoisseur, you know? He's seen zombies, but just zombies look different to him now. He can spot the, he can spot them. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Jala asks Cole, have I made you list RE games in order of preference before? Um, no. M maybe, maybe you have? I don't know if I can do it on the fly. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be real. Hmm. I'd say Remake is my favorite. Uh, three is up there. Seven is up there. Four is up there. Uh, Remake 2 complicates things. I don't end up caring for the basic version of 2 a whole lot. I think that it pales in comparison to 3. Um, six is above five, but not as high as four. Code Veronica is below two. <laughs> is that a, wait a minute, what is, somebody saw a giant taco on the ground? Oh, <laughs> no, that's a table. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that is a semicircular table. No, oh, that door's locked. Okay. This is weirdly more playable than I remember it being. I'm really terrible at, at, at ranking things, at listing favorites. Like, you know. Ooh, run, Doc. When you try to run away in a battle, you must fire your weapon and hit the target in the middle. Zombies will try harder to hit you whilst you are running away. Once you start to run away, you cannot rejoin the battle. Resident Evil ends up being a little bit like, uh like REM and that they have they were a few different bands over the course of you know the existence of the band so it's really tough to do an apples to apples comparison on like um remake 1 and 4 right those are both excellent <laughs> excellent games Ah! Okay, so there is a range system. Weird. <laughs> Darren says, only one game can be enjoyed at a time. A favorite must be declared. There is no middle ground, no gray area. Pick a side, my friend. Only enjoyment and hate. Oh, wow. So, with the knife, that's about as far as the range goes for me to not get, uh, to not take a, uh, Cole is two worse than six. No, two is not worse than six. I mean, you could get my answer by asking me to do a bunch of comparisons like that and then just sorting out the logic that way.
Although the way I would the way I would prefer to say it, because I'm me, isn't that I think that two is that six is worse than two. I think that I think that two is better than six. But that's mostly because I want to bet that every horse has a good time, you know. You died. <laughs> Press any button to continue. Do I have any health items? So yeah. <laughs> Zombie dot wave. What are you? Oh, that's just pixel junk in the background. It's super easy to dodge these zombies. You're really fast, and they're small. Uh... I feel like I can defend myself except by hitting quickly. The graphics in this are actually pretty good. Those are really big, attractive zombie sprites. Guys, I think this game might have something to recommend it. Yeah, emphasis on attractive. Yeah, this is Game Boy Color. Hi, Aaron. Uh, no, we have not done this for Waff. We did. You're probably thinking of Metal Gear Ghost Babble, which is the Game Boy Color Metal Gear game that is actually really good. Wow. What a big pointless boat. Nah, not going to do it. Okay, back down there I go. Go over here. Okay. Yeah. Make your way to the security room on the fourth floor. Try the elevators to the west. Maybe you can locate Leon with the security cameras. Okay. I'll make contact when I get there. Over and out. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't care for having mission control. Like it's fine. Weirdly, it's fine with Hunnigan because she gets, you know, you get your radio knocked out halfway through the game, <laughs> and then it's Salazar for the whole time. But um, yeah, I'm getting some weird like Metroid Fusion vibes from having somebody just constantly watch me and say, go to the fourth floor. Um, Jala asked, does anybody have the RE encyclopedia thing? How do they link all these? Uh, Gaiden is decidedly non-canon. Yeah, um, a, a listener actually sent me, um, the Resident Evil archive. It's a, it's a really neat, it's a really neat, uh, book. Okay, so I have a, a fuse, which is good. Uh, Jack CSA, so random quest question, what is everyone's w wish list for the R Resident Evil 3 remake? Um, absolutely more time on the streets of Raccoon City. Um, and a dodge button. Give me a quick step. That shit's really expensive, Cole. What, the, the Resident Evil Archive book? see a map. I really wish I had some ammo. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I can get a shotgun. That's neat. I wonder if that lets me uh, hit more than one enemy at once. Poison zombies. Mm, she went down quick. Yeah, I'm going to continue using the knife. Well, I can, anyway. And I'm dead. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, that archive is more than a hundred bucks. Jinkies. That listener was really generous. I don't think I could get that. Um, I do not think that I could get the uh, get as much as that is listed because my uh, the copy that I got was a little bit water damaged, which is fine. I will read a crispy book. Hmm. Wait, I just killed you. Come on. Let's try out the shotgun since I'm not going to be here all night. I'm sure you can find a PDF of the archives. Okay, let's at least get to the security cameras and see where Leon is. <laughs> Hi there, Zimchuk. This is Resident Evil Gaiden. Who are you? So yeah, the shotgun, it makes sense that it would be really effective at short range like that. Man. <sighs> at least the checkpointing is really generous. purple herb that I got. Yeah, how we are. Will this heal anything? Info. And restore heavy damage. Okay, well I can use that. Cool. I think I'm going to go for 15 more minutes. Wrenchwitch asks, should I consider making Remake 2 my first RE game? Yes. I think that is a perfectly fine way to get into the series, because it is incredibly well balanced, and kind of by definition the most modern. I would say approach that, don't be afraid to play it on training or whatever the lower difficulty level is, and just have fun with it and extend out from there, because that is the one you're probably going to have the most chance of liking. Let's 
Let's use a less precious item. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> uh, Wrenchwitch, no, don't start with Resident Evil Zero. Resident Evil is garbage. <laughs> Resident Evil Zero is very bad. I don't think that will give you a good impression of how much you will enjoy the rest of the series. Okay. The security room will probably be locked. I may need a key for it. Is that zombie holding an axe? What are you? It's holding a crowbar. Huh. Yeah, I think this game is pretty interesting, actually. <laughs> I only ever played a ROM a short while ago. Or not, not a short while ago, a long while ago. Um, yeah, there's, there's some some neat decisions that are made here. Yeah, the remake of one is really tense and scary in a way that I think RE2 remake is not. Oh wait, you can you can move your your field of view. That's really neat. Yeah, seven would be a good uh, a good way in as well, I think. Okay, actually, I think this battle theme is pretty good. <laughs> see how this works. Hmm. There we go. Let's get to the security room. I'm going to be taking a break from RE games on the stream for a while. Just because it's been pretty hot and heavy with them. Oh, look at that. Look at his nasty, juicy mouth. And I'm dead. Wow, look how generous that checkpoint is. That is absurd.
If anything, I'd say this game might be a little bit too easy. <laughs> I say as I die all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't I didn't knowingly reject the taco. I just didn't see it like y'all did. It was it also it was a table. It was a table that was flipped up on its side. <laughs> Ooh, who are you? That's a zombie to be. Hmm. What can I do with this hunk of junk? Leon went off to find the horrible monster that is turning everybody into into zombies. Leon rescued me and told me to wait here until he gets back. Well, we have to rescue Lucia. But I do not know. I don't know boat anatomy, so I don't know how to. I don't know where the sun deck would be. Ooh, pool time. Darren, I don't know if you're fucking with me. Darren says the sun deck is where the engine is kept. I wonder if I can time out and, f and fail to save Lucia. So the targeting is a little bit weird because to activate, to activate battle from a distance, you need to turn on your cursor and then hover it over somebody and then deactivate it. But the problem is, and I'll show you this when I get back out. So watch what happens when you let go. The, the, the cursor kind of always, there's a gravitational pull back to Barry. <laughs> Darren says, the poop deck is where the janitor is restrained so they don't eat the passengers. <laughs> Boats are complicated, dog nozzle.
Lucia. Lucia. These zombies are edging dangerously close to Frankenstein territory. again. Okay, let's find where she is being kept. Barry, listen for a scream. Not that scream. No, that's too big. Mm, actually, Frankenstein's monster is whoever corrects you about that. Some kind of tyrant, but with a window in its belly. <laughs> Look at that! That is a cool design! Oh, he's got grabby testins. Yeah, I'm gonna have to knife him to death. Yeah, I don't have the resources, I think, to... to finish this off. And here's the big flaw of the game. Yeah, I definitely wasn't preserving my ammo because it was so generous. <laughs> Let's see if I can go get some random drops of ammo. Otherwise, this night is coming to an end. Look at that. Look at that sprite lighting when he runs by the windows. some items, please. Bullets, please. Get closer. Come on.
Hmm. That might be enough. Hmm. Armor, eh? Okay, let's try it with the shotgun ammo and that armor. Yay! It dissolves into an amoeba-like form. so I get an extra party member. Neat. Let's see, where does it want me to go next? It wants me to go back. Let's see if there are any items. Oh yeah, she definitely has some kind of mutation that she's trying to hide from trying to hide from Barry. Hmm. That's a different kind of zombie. Okay, I think maybe that um, exclamation mark means that one of the zombies is carrying an item. I got that key for a room I'm not going to get to because I'm going to die real soon. I wonder what makes it switch from the really full version of the theme to that bare one. Unscrambled Leon's last message. He's in the first class cabin area. All right. Well, I think I'm going to call it a night because I am getting sleepy. 
Uh, thank you so much for walking down this strange road with me. These weird 8-bit Game Boy Color versions. Um, I gave Gaiden, I didn't give Gaiden a fair shot. This is actually kind of good. So, yeah. I'll be back next weekend with something new, something different. You know what to do if you're watching. Um, thank you so much for taking the time. Um, I will see you next weekend. And until then, have a wonderful time. Goodbye. <laughs>